Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away. Today we are in Dumfries. As you can see, the bridge is behind me. I am here to take in Queen of the South. I've already done the cup final, but today I'm going to Palmerston Park. But before we go there, I'm going to go and get something to eat, a proper Scottish supper. So let's go. Right, we're on our way to go and see a cool wee place that I went to before the last time I was in Dumfries when I was on our way to with Thistle. Such a cool wee pub, it's called The Hole in the Wall. Let's go and get some traditional Scottish food. And we're out. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Ryan from the whole Noir. What a guy. And hospitality was second to none. If you've not been to that place or if you're having Dumfries for an away day, get yourself into that pub. It is unbelievable. £5.25 it was for that full plate. Pints are cheap, food's cheap. As you can see, I am currently on a bridge. Not just any bridge. This bridge has been going since 1270. Very, very historical. As you can see around me, Dumfries is a very historical town and part of that history is Queen of the South, who we're going to see today. So, we're currently on the way to the game, Queen of the South versus Montrose in Scottish League One. How does this game pan out? Well, most of you think Queen of the South will be to this game favourites. Definitely not. Queen of the South are actually struggling at the moment. They've just got beat 5-1 off of Alloa last week, away from home. And they're currently in 7th position in League 1 after being relegated from the Championship last season. So it's not going to plan for them. Their promotion hopes this season are really getting squandered. And a loss today could possibly see manager Willie Gibson sacked. As for Montrose, well, they're having an excellent season. They currently sit in 3rd. A win today and a result against Falkirk would mean they would go 2nd today. So it's all to play for today for both teams. This is going to be an excellent tie. Let's get to the stadium and see what the fans think, especially the Queen's fans. Queen's fans are spoke to at the cup final last season and a lot has changed since then. So let's go and find out how we're feeling. Alex and William. Yeah. Guys, what is your thoughts on the current situation at Queen's at the moment? Well, we don't seem to be going anywhere <laughs> fast. You know, I can't see any improvement in the team at all at the moment. Mm -hmm. Today, I, it's, it's my first time at Palmerston at a home game. What should I expect? Today? Well, I, you shouldn't expect the, the, the fans to be having a go at the players. Yeah. We generally get behind the team and we'll be doing the same today. But we're just looking for a bit more, a bit more spirit, and you know, a bit more fight from the players. Yeah. Normally, what do you think? I think that's what happened. We can't allow the gap between us yeah. and the teams above us to get any wider. At the no. moment, we're seven points up. The minimum we can we want is to get into the top four, obviously. Do you think? It's, it's still doable, but yeah. we've got to start improving. We've got to start winning games. We've got to start winning games. Do you think today's a must win? What do you think? I think so. Aye. What's, what's the score prediction today? Give us a score prediction. Well, I, I never, I'd never go against Queens. Maybe two one. Two one. What about yourself? One, no. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the game, okay. mate. Billy, the, the club's struggling this season. Uh, do you think that's the reason there's not enough investment? Well, 
I go to all the, all the away games as well, like, and they play actually better away from home than, well, not last week, they didn't, but uh, <laughs> they play... Be- Just the five last week. <laughs> uh, three, five, three goals in five minutes Jeez. last week. Uh, you know, the manager and the paper was blaming the defender, which must be right, like, but the whole team's not playing. Mm-hmm. The team they've got should be playing better. If you come down for a division, into a lower division, you yeah. expect the team to be at least in the top four at the moment. It might change before the end, again, after Christmas, it could be even change. A, th- a run of two or three games, and you're, yeah, no, you're up there again. Like, but I know fans that have come here all their life and they walked out the last home game and said, We're not paying money to watch that. Like, it's so bad at the moment. Like, and whether it's the manager or the players not playing for the manager, we don't know. Like, but it's certainly not right. There's something not right. Once you're a Queen's fan, you're always a Queen's fan. <laughs> yeah. You know, local people, a lot of them are Celtic Rangers fans, you'll get the same in Glasgow, yep. you know, so you have to put up that. But I've always been a kind of full of Queen's all my days, like, and I don't, I don't, there's something not right, that's all I can really see. Yeah. There's something not right, right. behind the scenes. Well, there's something like, not right, but can they get a result today? What's the score going to be? Well, give us a prediction. It should be 3 1, I will say. 3 1? It should be 3 1. <laughs> But I wouldn't put any money, I wouldn't guarantee it. Boys, we're here. It's going to be a tough game today. What's the score going to be? Four one Queens. I tell me two one Queens. Who's captain? Let's be realistic here. I'll give you another chance. <laughs> Five 0 Queens, okay? <laughs> two one Queens. <laughs> There's a pause out. Time for kickoff. Let's go. You may remember some of these songs for the cup final. Oh, yeah. Let's season. Go, Let's go. Right, we're here, boss. Well, I, would have, I met you at the cup final, didn't I? I'm in Spikeman. Good man. Right, what's the score going to be today? 3 0 Queens. 3 0 Queens. Do you know me to say Montrose? Huh? Do you know me to say Montrose? 3 0 Montrose. What about yourself? Fuck the Tories. Good man. Oh! Last chance, Queens. Queens are on top. Big save for the Matros keeper. Yeah! Yeah! Out of nowhere, one down. Win! 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 I said it before the game and I'm going to say it again. Win! Queens are going to win this one.
Hey, what's your name? Steve. Steve, you left at what time this morning? Five o'clock. You left at five o'clock this morning? Aye. To come here and watch Queen of the South. And when was the last time you seen Queen of the South v Montrose, you were saying? 1968. 1968. Oh. And we won 2-1, I think. 1-2-1? One, one. Well, let's hope we get the same luck as 1968 here. Uh -huh. I bet the ground's a little bit different. Oh, that, that, that's, that's the only thing that's given, though. So it's up there. Is that the same? Oh, that's, that's mad, isn't it? How cool is that? You've got a wee hole in the wall up the back of the stand for the food. Scotch pie. We'll give that a test. And we'll give that a review. What's Pie review. Make it up what you will. <laughs> <laughs> Make it up with you, Mo. <laughs> like right now. Yeah! Oh, Get out! <laughs> on! You were just saying, how do I know when to record? How do I know when to record? How, how do I know when to record? That's how we know. <laughs> Two now. <laughs> Go on. Queen's just like a new outfit today. Half time. Queen's. Magically, take a two-go lead. Right, we're here. It's half time. Boys. Two now. I thought we were going to lose. Magic. Absolutely mad. Uh, what do you think of the first half? Yeah. I, in all honesty, I think I, Queens, they've dominated at the start, um, and you know what, they deserve it. Montrose can't really get it wrong half, can they? No, Louis uh, Payne hat trick incoming. Do you think it's coming? Yeah. He's got he's got poor already, hasn't he? Aye. Can I get a third one? We'll wait and see. Time for the third half. Oh, time for the second half. Let's go. This is Bovril watch. Big man's got Bovril right. Like, Let's uh, be honest here. Is, is that really Bovril or is that? Bovril or flavoured water? Dishwater, man. <laughs> and that is a review on the Bovril. <laughs> Attendance here, Palmerston, 912. 48. Visiting fans. Is that a good 39 at the five stall? <laughs> I think there is 39 at the five stall, indeed. Because that does not look like. Oh, Oh. Whippage on that border. <laughs> right, the second half started already. Boys, what do you think of the first half? Uh, I thought it was a good game for Queens and had lots of possession and that's when we scored two goals now. What's the score going to be? Uh, I think 4-0. Think it's going to finish 4-0? I yeah. think 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Yeah. Let's hope we can... Do you think so? That's what everybody's saying now. Let's hope we can do it. Yeah. Dominant today, rewarded by a third. Keep my hand up, man. Come boy, go on, get ball.
Wow! What a go! Worst game time! He's one of our own, Lewis Gibson. Oh no, Queens. Who could I wrote it? I had a good feeling about this game before. I said it before the game. I'll say it again. Anything happens in the Scottish League. Wow, what a goal. <laughs> Everywhere you go. Oh, we've got a scrap going on here. Come on. <laughs> Rico Katongo's been sent off. I don't think it's going to make a difference to the score, but Rico Katongo's off and he's got another left back, so we've got a tricky one for Queens. Stewart's a bunch of jobs worth here. Chucking fans out for I don't know what. Nothing nearly. Vaping. Clearly open air. Jesus man, getting kicked out for what for vaping? <laughs> oh, it's just madness, it's open here. It's, that rule was just utter madness. Don't understand it at all. If you remember before the game, I put on a bet my boy, if it's 5-0, no, I'm giving him all the money for this. So, <laughs> hoping it's not. More people get kicked out for vaping in mid -air. It's just nuts. <laughs> nuts. This atmosphere today, fair play to the Queen's fans. Oi, 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 Thistle winning 2 0. We love to see it. But look at this. This is Scottish football. Clyde, three each with Falkirk. Edinburgh, oh, go back. Edinburgh, 4 3 against Alloa. Mad, mad. Jesus. Scottish football, it's unrivaled. Never put a cup on. Oh, 3 0, Thistle, come on. Full yeah. time here. Queen of the South, four. Four. But Joe's now. What a result. That brings a remarkable afternoon to an end. I will see you back in the house for a full match day review. And we're back. Wow. Queen of the South, what a victory. I think nobody in that stadium expected that. Four goals, shut out, clean sheet. Unbelievable. Queens, they stay in seventh, but... Hopefully that gives them a bit of confidence getting into this season. Can they get promotion? We'll wait and see. But that should kickstart them, hopefully. As you know, we do a five-factor review for the match day experience. So let's get straight into it. 
First of all, we had football. It was a real shock to everyone in attendance, as I already said. Queen's dominated throughout and given Montrose nothing. Um, a dominant performance, 10 out of 10 for football. For price, it was £10 for me to get in. There's no arguing with that. Um, anything under £10 in this day and age is outstanding. 10 out of 10 for price. In terms of atmosphere, I heard a wee rumour today that the atmosphere was actually lifted because the boys knew I was coming. But listen, I'm not taking anything away from the boys. That was superb today. Um, I heard this and I heard that about the Queen's atmosphere. But twice I've seen them, quick cup final and today. And yeah, they've impressed me both times. Thoroughly impressive. 8 out of 10 for atmosphere I'm giving them. For food. <laughs> Right, this is the worst food I have ever, ever had on Home and Away. Uh, the pie was absolutely stinking. I could actually smell the pie. It must have been off or something. It, nah, I don't even know. It's like, I'll eat anything. You guys know I will eat anything that's get put in front of me. You should see me in the house, I'm even worse. I'll eat anything. But this pie, I took one bite of it and it was slammed on the floor. Like, I was bulking, I was nearly sick, and I am never like that with any food. Yeah, it was just pure stinking. I, it, it wasn't meat that was in it either. Oh, disgusting. Um, the chips and curry made a bit up for that. Chips and curry was decent, it was nice. But wow, that's the worst pie I've ever had, and I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10, purely for the chips and curry. For facilities, Palmerston, as we all know, it's a historical ground. It's very outdated um, in some parts, but it's historical in others. Yeah, in all honesty, it could really do with an upgrade, but um, the terracing must stay. The terracing has to stay. That's terracing. Somebody told me yesterday is the biggest terracing stand still in Scotland in this day and age. So that must stay the stand that I was in. But apart from that, some stuff really needs to get done up. The ground is really outdated. So for facilities, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. It has been a pleasure to be at Palmerston for the first time. What a ground, an old ground. But historical ground, I love all that history. Going to Dumfries, it's a perfect town. If you've not already visited it, get yourself down to Dumfries. I am going to be going to somewhere very special on Friday night. Take a guess if you can and drop it in the comments down below. Thank you for joining me in this one. And like and subscribe to the video if you've not already. I will see you in the next one. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.